My dad was a commercial fisherman who ended up owning a fish processing plant up in Blaine. For Bellingham Mayor Kelly Linville, this dam is personal. It cuts off salmon habitat at the middle fork of the Nooksack River. So when the fish come up, they get to the dam and they can't swim over the dam, right? So they have to stop. April McEwen is the project manager for American Rivers, helping to spearhead work to remove the dam while still maintain some diversion for Bellingham's water supply. It'll open up 16 miles of historic habitat for salmon in clean, cold water flowing from Mount Baker. So it's going to be smart infrastructure that allows the water diversion to be maintained while we remove the dam. So we're going to then remove the dam and restore access and fish passage, restore the channel uh, through the site and restore access to upstream habitat. Here on the White River, salmon are getting a different kind of solution. Downstream from the Mud Mountain Dam will soon be the largest fish trap in North America. So the existing fish trap was designed to pass up to 20,000 fish per year. We've used it to pass more than that, but it still isn't supporting the massive number of fish returns that we're seeing yearly. So the new fish passage has been designed to pass 1.25 million per year and up to 60,000 fish per day. U.S. Army Corps of Engineers project manager Leah Honstein says it was designed by more than 150 engineers from five different organizations. So if we didn't have a trap here with our dam, we would have a loss of tens of miles to hundreds of miles of habitat. We would have fish runs that are much lower than they currently are, and they might actually go extinct. There may not be enough habitat for some of these fish. Fish biologist Fred Geffs explained how it works. The fish swim up a ladder and into the trap. Then a truck will move them upstream and release them above the dam, again in an area with pristine water perfect for salmon, blowing off Mount Rainier. We are just one river basin of 14 that you'd find in the Puget Sound, but this is one of the most important basins. It's one of the largest. It has spring Chinook salmon, which is one of the preferred um, kinds of salmon that orca eat. This project will cost $112 million, but that money is already secured. Back here on the Nooksack, though, funding is still unsure as the project waits for state money. And the state has said that this is a top priority project, so actions speak louder than words, and uh, we believe that the state will deliver on this. Critics of Governor Inslee's budget say it doesn't do enough for salmon habitat restoration which they say could take 100 years if current funding levels aren't increased. Advocates for the project here on the Nooksack say it could increase salmon runs by 31 percent. It's a great opportunity to not let generations of children think that every river should be dammed. Hi, I'm King 5 environmental reporter Allison Morrow. Check out our Saving the Orcas playlist for more videos like this one. Make sure to subscribe to the King 5 channel to get alerts when there's a new video published. What topic do you want us to cover next? Let us know in the comments below.